Welcome back to the channel, everybody. This is Codations coming at you today with another video on Skylanders Ring of Heroes. And today, we're going to be diving into some Mirage Tower, bringing you guys some do's and some don'ts, some tips and some tricks. We're going to be diving into some things that you should absolutely be taking advantage of prior to the reset. That is right. So if you don't already know, the Mirage Tower only has a day left on reset. So you definitely want to be taking um, these tips into consideration, hopefully applying them and farming out those skill stones. Because if even if you are a free-to-play player, this is going to be some skill stones that you absolutely need. It's crucial. It's free resources. So you definitely want to get in there and grind it out and take advantage of it. But... As always, before we dive in, I just wanted to tell you guys thank you very much for all the love and the support for the year 2020. I know that we are closing in on that 3K sub mark. I believe we are roughly around that 160 subs away from hitting 3K. So thank you guys very much. And without further ado, let's dive right in. Diving right in, ladies and gentlemen, the first thing that I've got wrote down on my list is going to be you need to push as far as possible. And so what I mean by that is I know it's a very simple tip, but a lot of players can, can be sleeping on the Mirage Tower because they're just too busy trying to grind out and farm out like the Adventure Mode, trying to grind out the Cyclops Dungeon, just a bunch of different other things in the game, maybe PvP, whatever the aspect is. But if you are not grinding and trying to push the tower as much as possible, then you are missing out on it low of skill up stones if maybe you're sitting here watching this video and you're like wait a second is that why all these people have maxed out skills um yeah exactly it's be because it's gonna be because you get so many skill up stones for your skylanders especially um the heroic ones you get loads of those if we scroll all the way down here to the bottom you can see that you start get a bunch of blues for those rare skill up stones and then if you just keep on going here, um, climbing all the way down, I'm going to show you guys exactly what I'm talking about. So then you can also see there is some premium ones um, as well. Look at this, 25. Um, so again, there is no reason um, why you should not be in here farming um, out the Mirage Tower as far as possible. So that's going to be the first thing. The next thing is, is like I said, you're going to get these skill up stones, man. And this is going to be crucial for your, um, you know, push pushing your Skylanders to that next level. Because some, some skill ups can make or break a Skylander. I mean, some skill ups if you don't have those skill ups um, the Skylander isn't the best for whatever you're trying to do or, and, or maybe you're just simply lacking and you're not going to be able to clear a specific stage because you don't have those skill ups and with that being the case you're going to get loads of them from here um, so that kind of leads me into the next point and the next point is going to be do not focus on trying to get three star clears okay so I know a lot of player current our players currently right now are trying to get in here three star everything um, in the adventure mode in the Cyclops dungeon to get that 20 times auto. Well, the Mirage Tower is different. Um, you don't really need the three star clears right off right away. And in my opinion, I highly suggest you not even worry um, about three star clears until a day like this, where it's you know one day left before the reset. You 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 um, have progressed as far as you possibly can in the Mirage Tower, so you know you can't clear that next floor um then that is when i think it's going to be crucial for you to spend some time go back down from you know level one all the way up and hit those three star marks from that point forward just for that last day and the reason why i say that is because just because you only get a one star clear so to give you guys an example i don't even know if i have a one star clear um but to give you guys an example like my fourth floor here i haven't re-ran this since i did it the first time i mean you can see I only got a two-star clear, right? Because I did not clear it with one defense Skylander at the time of clearing it. And with that being the case, um, I only got two stars. But you still get these skill-up rewards, and that skill-up rewards does not... Um, uh, give you an increased amount based on the amount of stars that you have, you know, achieved on that specific stage or that floor. So what does that mean? Well, that means just push as far as you can, not caring about the additional stars that you can get. If you get one star clear, if you clear the stage or the floor, you beat it. No matter what, no matter if you got one Skylander left, two Skylanders left, or an entire team, you still get the skill up stone. So again, I can't stress that enough. Do not worry about that. The next best thing, like I said, would be to come back and get three star clear on everything as you can see here um, that's basically what we're going to be doing we are sitting at that one day before reset and that's going to be what our mission is for you know the, a part of today is going to be going through grinding out each one of these stage here it is yeah here is a one star clear you can see i still got those 25 um skill stones um but again 
like I was saying, uh, today I'm going to be utilizing that time. You should be utilizing that time as well to take advantage of this and and then go back and three star um, those each individual floors. Now, what is the reason for three starring these floors? Well, the reason for clearing the 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 uh, floors at three stars instead of one star is going to be the um, additional gems that you get on the side. So you can see here at certain milestones as you collect um, so many um, stars out of the um, Mirage Tower in general, um, then you basically unlock different like milestone achievements. So to give you guys an example here, there is 82 um, out of 150. Um, and then I know for a fact that we can get to 125. Um, and I know for a fact that, you know, obviously we're going to get to 100. I don't know if we're going to be able to get all 150 of them um, just because the floor that I'm currently stuck on um, is going to be that 40, um, the 48th floor. Um, I've been just auto grinding, I'm not auto, uh, manual grinding this. So again, trying to work my way up there. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do it, but I'm definitely going to be pushing um, to try to get it done. But again, Going back to what I was saying, um, that's going to be the reason why you are going to want to three-star the specific floors um, afterwards is because you can get these additional gems, these additional diamonds off to the left-hand side, which is great because it's the premium currency in the game. And like I said, I know everybody wants to get that, but early game players, free-to-play players, mid-to-game players, long-term players, whatever um, type of player you are, um, definitely do not focus that, on, that, that early on. Just get in here, grind out each stage, try to beat it, get those skill ups, um, skill up your Skylanders of your choice and then keep on progressing forward. Now that leads me into the next thing and that is going to be a little tip that I don't know a lot of players actually know um, but to give you guys an example here let's go down to an easy floor um, that I could just easily clear I mean I'm talking about like stupid easy um, so I can show you guys what I mean. So um, to give you guys an example on like a two star clear like this um, 11th floor it's clear by using heroic or below Skylanders only so no legendaries one thing to note about the three individual requirements for each star is that you don't have to do them all in the same run to get a three star clear so what I mean by that is is one we've already got the first star because we cleared the stage we've already got the second star because we cleared it with a air element Skylander and then the third star if we load it in here we put no no body but one heroic um you know uh skylander we cleared it no matter even if we took 40 bazillion turns no matter what ranking we get we would still complete this star so to give you guys an example of that i'll just show you right here let's go ahead and take out um robo and then um let's go ahead and save this here go back to show you guys exactly how this functions so again um we're going to go ahead and rerun this stage just to show you exactly um how the system works hopefully the auto system will will work pretty fast so um all right Let's go ahead, and as you can see here, we're just, I mean, we're wiping these guys just because, I mean, hell, we're almost level 80. Um, so with that being the case, you know, and we're also, you know, way more stronger with our gear than these guys are. So we're just going to go ahead and wipe them out um, with, each, with, each, with each of our attacks. Jeez Louise, I'm sorry, I can't even speak. <laughs> Um, all right, so this is going to be it. So we're going to see it right here. So we're going to go ahead and and uh, defeat this. Now, again, I would, I mean, it's kind of a hard example because I would normally, um, you know, get a three-star clear just from so many um, turns potentially. But nevertheless, you're going to get the idea and the concept here. So we went ahead and cleared it. Okay, there we go. We only got a two-star clear. But here's something to note. If we click the back button and we go back to that specific stage, I know it sucks, right? I got to go all the way down. Uh, I, be I believe it was floor 11, I believe is what we ran. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Boom, right there. So as I was mentioning, these individual stars you still get, even if you don't get a full three-star clear on the first run-through. So again, it's not that big of a deal. Second thing to know on this, on this list that I have wrote down is your reruns for the stages do not cost you additional stamina. So you can't even, you know, a person can't even argue and say that you should be trying to clear it with a three-star clear on the first time because you're wasting stamina. You're not. The game has done a fantastic job on giving you a um, basically a free chance at running it again after you you successfully clear it so therefore that is going to be another reason why you should be going back and farming these additional stars um, at the end or close to the additional reset so you can see right here we've only got on that one day marker that's going to be what our mission is for today before we get that reset um, another thing that I want to um, mention to you guys is going to be when we go up to the top here where is my little uh, where's my fast button I don't get a fast button um, all right, whatever. Maybe we'll go back here and do it like this way. Yeah, there we go. Um, all right, so the other thing that I know a lot of people might misunderstand, and that is going to be do not worry about not being able to clear the 50th floor on this first tower, okay? And the reason why I say that is because 
you are not missing out on these 30 legendary stones. You're only missing out on the two. And what do I mean by that? If, if you see this little tag on top of it that says first, this first clear, I mean, if you play the 2018 version of Skylanders Ring of Heroes, the tower resets, it resets monthly, and with that being the case, it's going to come back and it's going to be relatively the same. The enemies might be a little bit different, the floors might be a little bit different, the bosses might be a little bit different at individual stages, but the tower itself is going to be genuinely, generally the same, and so therefore this will still be on that 50th floor on the next one. Now, I know I can't say for certain, maybe there is something different that I don't know, but I definitely um, think that this is going to stay. And with that being the case, you're not missing out on these 30 legendary stones um, because once you clear it for the first time, next month, um, you will get those stones as well. So again, just keep that in mind. You are not um, you know, be, you know, know, hindering yourself or hurting yourself if you were not being able to clear the fifth floor or the 50th floor and getting um, the, the, the stones because you're not missing out on the 30, you're only missing out on the two legendaries okay so again don't beat yourself up on that um, I don't know if we're going to currently be able to clear it, and um, we are currently, like I said, sitting at that um, 48th floor. I've been manualing floors, um, per, geez, I don't even know, probably since like the 40th floor, maybe 39th floor. Um, I've been pretty much manualing it, and that leads me into the next point, and that is going to be do not, not 100% auto the tower. Now, the earlier stages that are super, super duper easy, you can definitely throw on the auto and let it roll, but once you start getting into hard stages, don't just quit and think that, you know, you can't run that stage, you're too low for that, you can't beat that stage. That is absolutely not correct. Um, the AI system in this game is absolutely garbage. And I don't know if you've already known that from like the PvP battles, um, to boss battles, to Cyclops battles, to just, I mean, you know, a variety of things, but the, the AI in the game is garbage, and so what I mean by that is, is you're going to be able to get way more value for manualing these stages, utilizing your skills in the correct order, the synergy, the team compositions, things like that, um, so with that being the case, definitely do not be afraid, if you're, if you're having trouble clearing a stage, tick off that auto, try to manually do it, really, um, involve yourself in your Skylander skills, find out exactly, um, what works well with what what procs off of what um and so like i said then that's going to definitely skyrocket your progression in the tower and then allow you to collect the additional um, skill up stones at that further progression mark so again that's going to be another one and last but not least, I'm going to leave you off on this tip, um, and that is going to be, like I said, do not worry um, about, you know, um, your progression and how far you get. I mean, ultimately, your goal in this tower is going to be to climb as far as possible. I mean, you're going to be um, progressing through the game, through the adventure mode, leveling up Skylanders, grinding out some ether in the Cyclops dungeon. The tower is just something else that you have to get in there and grind out, but do not sleep on the tower. I cannot say that enough. Do not sleep on it, but also do not stress over it and burn all of your stamina trying to clear stages that you are not suited or you can't clear um just accept the fact move on know that the tower is going to come back next month um and then just rinse and repeat you know once it does launch and hopefully by then you know what you'll be stronger and then again that would be something that you could take advantage of um and then like i said i think that's gonna be it for the video ladies and gentlemen i know it wasn't a whole lot but i just wanted to let you guys know that it is ending in a day so definitely um do not sleep on there and finish up farming up your stone so with that being the case ladies and gentlemen i've been codations please be sure to like comment and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you get notification every time we drop a video and i will see you guys on the next one